gusts at 426 miles per hour, dirt. Hey, man. It's all right. You want to give it a shot? What do you got going on? So I'm just trying to see if people trust their common sense. Would you say you trust your common sense? Or? Yeah. Yeah, right? I mean, everyone should, right? Yeah. So two very easy questions and see if people actually do. Um, so this is the first, uh, the first question. So I have two photographs of a water bottle, but there's only one difference between both of them. And I want to see if people can tell what's the difference between water bottle number one and water bottle number two. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, it's close. It has to do with orientation. 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 What do you mean by orientation? So what's the difference between the second one and the first one? And you were close because you're saying one, one defies gravity. Why did you say that? Because uh, it appears that this one has air okay. and uh, like Water. residue of like moisture. Yeah, actually they paint the water blue with food coloring, so that is water you're looking at. Okay. So, but it also could be like a substance, like an oil that you know, is clear. Um, but okay. it's actually air and water. Okay. Air That's and water. So can you can you tell what the difference is then between these two water bottles? There's one major difference when I took the picture of the water bottle. One could be on ground level and the other one could be falling. Okay. Like, okay. You know, if you're falling okay. and like the water is... You're, you're close, you're close. Okay. okay. Well, I'm glad you say that. I mean, if it falls, the water will go up if it's right. being accelerated if down, right? Yeah, if right. It's being okay. Physics. I'll, I'll tell you something. So I'll tell you what I did. I took one of the pictures right side up. Okay. And I took another picture upside down. So which one's the one that I took upside down? Oh, okay. <laughs> so which one's the one I took upside down? One or two? Two. You got it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. But no, no, you got it. You were right on the money from the start. Yeah. That, that it defies gravity. But that, the fact is, you know, water never goes to the top of the bottle unless, yeah, again, you push oh, it down. Right. Unless you push it down. But again, if it was just a standing image. If it's upside it's up, down. I then took this it like picture's this. upside down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I took it like this. Yeah. Okay. I inverted it just to make it a little bit tricky. Because if I showed them like this, it's too obvious. It's the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're going to see, oh, this bottle's just upside down. And yeah. This one's right side up. But if I show them like this, it makes you think a little bit. You're you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Hey, you got the first one. You're good, man. That's pretty good. Whoa. So this next one's actually even easier. Okay. So have you ever heard of water always finds its level? Yeah. I mean, it's part of a water part of physics, right? Yeah. What would be another word for level? You gotta use a different word. Another word for level? Another like a natural level. balance? Yeah. Natural yeah. balance. Yeah. Yeah. Balance is a good one, but. Yeah, I yeah. mean, horizontal is actually the proper definition. That, that'll be like the one word definition for level. Because right. if you have a, a straight line that's on a slope, it's not level. Right. It's a slope, right? It has to be horizontal. Right. You know, that's what level means. So if you understand that fact about water as well, that it always finds its level, which one of these two represents level as we know it when it comes to the water, A or B? A? Yeah, it's the obvious one, right? right. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So the real reason I do this is because over 95% of the population have been tricked to believing this is the answer, even though we know it's this one. You want to know how we were tricked? Why? Do you believe the Earth is a ball? Like a... Like a sphere in, in, in outer space? Yeah. A 3D sphere, right? Yeah, I have a question. Do you know where is the restaurant Las Campanas? I don't know. I'm sorry. Las Campanas? <laughs> All right, just real quick, I guess. So you do believe the Earth is a ball, right? So NASA, yeah. in specific, or in any other space agency for that matter, they I've claim... i the theory of flat yeah. Earth. Yeah, okay, I try to stay away from flat Earth because that's part of the censoring. That's okay. how they try to ridicule this. But NASA claims to have satellites orbiting the Earth, so they need to know the radius of orbit if they're supposedly going around the Earth. You know, they need to know the radius of the Earth if, they, if they're, you know, they're supposedly going around. So they do tell us the radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles, which gives us a circumference of 24,901, which means there has to be curvature every mile. And every mile that curvature has to increase because it's not a slope, it's a curve. So in the first mile, there's an eight inch drop, second mile, 32 inches. By the third mile, there should be six feet of curvature. So if we went out to a giant lake that was miles across to measure for this curvature, the water on that lake's gonna be completely parallel to anything horizontal above it. But they're trying to tell us that that water is bending six feet in three miles and increasing, you know, so in 10 miles, there's gonna be 66 feet, which is like a six story building. But we know that in lakes that are 10 miles across, there's no curvature whatsoever. So in, okay. so in my opinion, this will be the number one experiment to debunk the globe, a physical measurement of Earth. Because the mainstream is trying to use perspective, our vision, to try to basically prove the globe. It, it, just, it just exists on paper and through vision. Like, oh, the horizon, things disappear. So if I was to ask you, what's the number one proof that makes you believe that the Earth is a ball? Or the, the number one reason that there's no proof? 
you to be honest, you know? What is the reason why you believe the earth is a ball? You believe that the earth is a ball. Yeah. Science. I, I think from growing up and going to college or uh, school. School. Um, yeah, when you learn science, you learn about planets, and space. Right. Just because we, because you were told you were that. Told. Too, I guess. So yeah. it's not it's not something that you confirmed, right? No, no. No, it's just something that you were. Learning. That's pretty honest. Yeah. That. So. The reason why I'm out here talking to people is because I came across this in 2016, by the way, this information. I explored it on the internet around that time, but it started getting censored around 2018 and 2019. And the way they're censoring, again, is just grouping everybody as flat earthers. I don't claim to be a flat earther, by the way, I'm just a realist. I take reality for what it is, so I go with physics. Whatever physics shows me is what it is because people lie. Physics doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, if somebody makes a claim to me about, you know, about the natural world, then you need to have something practical to convince me or to show me right. that, that that's what the case is. So, if, everything, I'm, I'm just going to give you a, a heads up, they're going to completely avoid a physical measurement like this. They're going to just focus on laser experiments. And the thing is with lasers, when you shoot lasers through, through water or through the moisture of the air, there's always going to be refraction. So, you're never going to have a perfectly straight laser in the air. Another thing is, uh, how do you level out a laser to make sure it's straight? The irony is you use water. So, so to, to, to use a laser to prove water level is kind of a circular reasoning because you actually use one, you actually use water to level out lasers. You know? So what are you saying? So I'm saying that we've been lied to our whole lives about what this place actually is. About the Earth? About the Earth, yeah. About the whole heliocentric model. You know the stars that tell us that there are other planets? Right. They're just lights in the sky. Nobody knows what they actually are. I'll show you a quick picture of what they actually look like when people zoomed into them with a P900 camera. It's the most powerful zoom camera on the market that a civilian can buy. So this is 82 times zoom of the stars, and this is 82 times zoom of the, of the planets. So they're both in the same distance in the sky. And they're literally in our visible space, so they're no more than a few hundred miles, maybe a thousand, in the sky. And all the stars are is just a map above us. You know, the, the constellations? Right. right? That, that word comes from being constant. The stars are just constant. So that's where the word constellation comes from. If we were truly a, a sphere shooting through space and spinning in all these four different motions, then there will be parallax in the sky every night. In other words, every night, every 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 night sky will be like a fingerprint. It'll be unique. Every, you know, every star pattern. Right. But 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 the stars are constant. So they're not they're not what we're being told. Of. The fact is nobody knows what they actually are. But again, this is the kind of stuff that the that the mainstream tries to focus on. Right. Visual visual stuff. They, they'll show you like CGI cartoons like this, like Jupiter. Right. But it actually CGI. is all CGI, <laughs> exactly. So the only place you're ever gonna see curvature of the Earth is through GoPro cameras. I don't know if you know that Go GoPros they warp horizontal lines because of the wide angle lens. Right. Right? Or through CGI cartoons. Again, these are CGI. And these are admitted. Now, these are NASA official images and they admit that they're CGI. They call them composites. They don't, they don't just straight up call them CGI. But there has been, um, there has been uh, <laughs> videos of like uh, astronauts in space that's like CGI looking because like <laughs> yeah. shit will disappear. Like, Sometimes you'll they, see bubbles. If they try to go get bubbles. <laughs> bubbles rising. Or like, um, <laughs> again, <laughs> like their, their body will will fade away as they move behind like into yes. another room. Yo, you've like seen that. some NASA footage, so right? I've seen yeah. some shit like that. That got me questioning. Questioning. Like, now, I'm going to tell you minute. straight up, a lot of flatter channels that are just focusing on NASA anomalies and stuff like that, a lot of those channels are just controlled opposition, meaning they're just showing you little things that don't really mean anything about physics, but they're just showing you NASA fakery to just make you doubt, but not to commit. How do you so, commit? Exactly. They're, they're controlled opposition. They're like double agents in a way. Right. They're pretending to be flat earthers, but in reality, they're trying to keep people stumped. Okay. So you just got to be worried. But there's so many of those. It's crazy. To be honest, I only know about a, one or two channels that are actually real. And every other channel that I came across is just, they're doing it for money. So what do you think about space? Like, so space is, is just is a concept. It it's a concept. So what's outside? Of, so the Earth, we have air pressure here, right? 14.7 right. PSI, allegedly. So in order to have two opposing pressure systems, like they claim outer space is a negative pressure, right? Next to the Earth's pressure. But here in reality, in physics, in order to have two opposing pressure systems, what's required? Uh, a container. Is the expansion of a gas into a vacuum. I have in one of these bulbs some bromine, and in the other, I have a, a vacuum. And if I open the tap between these two, you will see spontaneously 
the bromine rush from one to the other. Now that is the simplest change we can have, perhaps, because all that happens is a change in entropy. In this case, the expansion into a vacuum, nothing else is involved. There's no energy change, there's no temperature change, there's no change except entropy. Well, you need a container, a completely solid container, and that's how you increase the pressure, and that's how you can separate that pressure from, from, a, from inside a cylinder, for example, to the pressure outside here on Earth. It creates your container. Well, that would be the planes where you make it out of. Oh, you're talking about Earth container. Like our, our oh, so atmosphere. the Earth, hey, I'm glad you're thinking further. So the Earth has to be contained by some kind of physical barrier, which I don't know what that is. The, I, I hate bringing up the Bible because I'm not religious, but the Bible does talk about a dome, some kind of dome that, that encloses the, the air, basically, that will keep it contained. Right. But at the end of the day, I don't know if, if there's like a dome like that. The container could just, I don't know what it could look like. But to think of what, what's outside of the Earth, I don't know, we haven't even got to the container yet. yet. Yet alone think about what's outside of it. Wait, what about SpaceX? So again, SpaceX, I know they came to be private, but I don't know if you knew, they get most of their funds from NASA right, or government right. funds. That's true, yeah. So anything, anything, because that private company can't do what NASA does. But I think them, they're still government controlled. The fact that they call they call themselves a private company is just to give the illusion that it's not just governments doing it. It's private people also doing it. But, but again, they're government funded. They wouldn't be funded if they were not enough. So you think well. Elon's bullshit? Elon, for sure he's bullshit, whether he knows the Earth is a level plane or not, I don't think so. I think he's really dumb, in my opinion. He's just a puppet, basically. He's, he's giving his lines. Yeah, he's a puppet, 100%. In my opinion. In my opinion. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm you know what I'm saying? That, I'm yeah. accepting whatever yeah. you... Sure, sure. Yeah. You're open to what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. No, but yeah, Elon, um, I don't even think astronauts need to know that the Earth is level. I think they're just told that, oh, look, we can't get to space. We've been lying to people. Something about like Buzz Aldrin and yeah. bullshit. They all, they all, when you see real videos of people trying to interview because, them. Because, because when they landed on the moon, you see a video of them like landing. Yeah. But like, who fucking set Put up the camera. camera? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. then also you look at like, um, like, uh, like nu nuclear warfare when we're oh, testing okay. it. Yeah, yeah. And you notice, you realize how like nuclear explosions, if you look at like the, the footage mm -hmm. from way back in the day, like the 50s. Uh, how you how you see like all these mushroom clouds yeah, and like the yeah, trees yeah. like fucking getting literally pushed, yeah 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 but like the camera never moves that's a good point the I'm buildings a, are getting destroyed but the camera doesn't right, even shake right and you people would say oh it's the zoom but it was like it was back then they didn't have this this kind of good that technology crazy ass zoom. No, no yeah you would have some sort of shaking at <laughs> yeah. least like, no yeah that's, that's true. a lot of force you know, buildings collapsing. When it comes to thing. nuclear weapons, yeah. that's a whole another topic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. a whole another conspiracy. But it's like but the whole thing, like the illusion. Yeah, the illusion. It's just stuff. to trick people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so another thing about flat earth channels, anybody just focusing on history to try to prove flat earth or, or using the Bible, controlled or dumb, these, these channels. You know what I'm saying? Because again, physics is trying to prove what the shape of the earth is or what the earth actually is. Science, yeah. which is measurable, observable, testable, repeatable. It's, it's what's in front of us. It's what we can test. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, this is the number one censored subject right now on the internet, and that's the only reason why I'm out here doing it. I would not be doing this right now if it wasn't, you know, for the fact that we're that being fucked. Or that what we're being told. Basically, like what? Like you what, feel it. I, I know it. Not only do I feel it, I know it. But what is that? I don't know exactly what it is. But there, there is something about this place that they're trying to keep from us. It's not about money. It's not what about place? Earth. Earth. Yeah. They, they, I think they found something out about this place that they just don't want the rest of us to know. So they, they lied to us about the globe to keep us from exploring, to go outwards, to see what's out there. You know, if aliens do exist, another humanoid species, it's going to be here on Earth just across the way, not up the way. You know what I'm saying? And that's if. For all we know, again, we could just be inside, inside, inside of like some kind of creation that's a dome. And uh, and it's funny how you brought up that ex the example of, 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 of if the water could only be on top if you pushed it down, right? If it, it accelerated. Yeah, if, if you're falling or something. Because it's a yeah, big subject right now perception. within flat earthers, um, why why things fall, right? Because they try to say that uh, flat earthers are gravity it's deniers. Gravity. I'm going to tell you the, the real reason that scientifically proven why, uh, why things appear to fall. It's not that the that the object's being pulled down uh, by, by the pulling force of gravity, it's actually the pushing force of gravity, which is the Earth is pushing up against it. So put it this way, when I let this uh, water bottle go, the water stays relative, it doesn't go up like it's being accelerated down. So what's happening is when you let the water go, 
is just losing its momentum. It's just losing. So when the earth but comes, but it's different versus when you do this. Exactly, that's acceleration. acceleration. This is acce people uh, the gravity and and people that claim the earth is stationary claim that when you let an object go, that it accelerates towards the ground. But if we observe the matter within the container, we can see that the water doesn't displace, doesn't go up, and it doesn't, you know what I'm saying, like it should in physics. Because it's a constant force being pulled down. Yeah, but even if it's a constant force, it's still acceleration from me letting it go. Because right now it's stationary, supposedly. And when I let it go, it starts to accelerate. 9.8 meters per second, you know how fast yeah. that is? 32 feet in a second. I don't even know if a Tesla could do that. You know what I'm saying? You're right, you're right. <laughs> so the water should move to the top, but it doesn't. So it's the earth that's moving up to meet it. And that's how we have weight. Because the only way to have weight is something pressing on something else. So that's how you create pressure. That's how you measure PSI. Because the air in the container is pressing against the walls of the container. And that's how you, you, that's how you measure pressure, right. air pressure. Something has to be pressing on something else. So when people claim that, oh, this thing falls because of a magical force that's pushing it down. But well, what is that force? It doesn't exist because, again, we don't observe effects of the, of the motion of the water like we should. It's, it's gravity, isn't it? Like, again, but gravity is a pushing force. It's think not about a it, force. Gravity, gravity from the, from the very core of the Earth to like the where we are on yeah. the surface yeah. of the earth and then you think about the atmosphere mm -hmm. but like everything everything is being compressed even the air the yeah clouds, so you're saying the, gravity is the container as well it's what's containing yeah <laughs> the whole atmosphere so you, you so you you would believe so you believe that an air could hold tire without the rubber a car tire no, not without the rubber. Exactly, you need a container to hold you air need pressure. A container, That's why when they say air, like gravity, a magical force, again, that force cannot be measured. I don't know if you knew, it's, it's a theory of gravity because a pulling force, it cannot be measured. Not only that, again, the water doesn't displace. So like what separates oxygen from outer space? Like once you hit the that's outer part. That's the thing, it's a, it has to be atmosphere. some kind of container, but so I don't know. something I, But I don't know what that is. I don't know if you knew this, NASA doesn't shoot rockets straight up and they do it for a reason. Maybe they hit something if they did, you know, so they, they go always go in a curve and they say that they're going over the curve of the earth But again, if that curve was truly there, we should be able to physically measure it here on earth aka the surface of water you know what I'm saying? But, but they inverted the whole model even even gravity, you know, that's what I'm saying So again a lot of the controlled opposition flat earthers I'm not saying all of them But a lot of them are claiming the earth is stationary and that things just fall because it's just the way God made them But that's retarded that's how they kind of control this information as well, you know. But, you know, that's just something to think about, you know. The only way to have weight is when something is pressing against something else. So, like, when you when you hit a punching bag, like at a carnival, right, it measures how hard you punched it. How, you know, you only do that by making contact with the airbag to measure the weight of the force, right? So, that's the thing. This cannot be moved down to create force because there's nothing pressing against it to make it go down. Again, and plus the, the water doesn't displace at the top like it should. Do you think Newton back then? <laughs> like, do you think that he even? So like, Newton. Do you think that there was a outside government force like influencing like, these characters? To, like, you know, like, do you think like there was a group of people or a, a, an organization mm -hmm. way back in the day mm -hmm. that would also try to like not release? true information about the earth 100 percent. really yeah for how long i don't know that's the thing i don't know how again when it comes to history we weren't there me and you weren't there right right so and we can only take history can always be reset it based on whoever wins during wars yeah exactly winners write the history books yeah, yeah. you're sure you heard of that you term like the the great library of alexander yeah like there was like some like legit stuff that we've lost the book burnings of uh i don't know the 40s or what the 20s or something like that that's equivalent to uh, online censoring of information. Right. Literally, right. that's equivalent to the book You're burnings of back in the day. Like you, you can't even look it up. Exactly, it's gone. exactly. Gone. So, again, because this information is so fundamental and so they couldn't just remove it because it's everywhere. You right. know, reality is in front of you, right? Water level, you know, the horizon, you know. So, what they did is it's just, again, they just flooded the internet with a bunch of trolls, basically. Globe trolls, flat earth trolls. But again, they're all just not focusing on physics that debunks gravity that debunks water bending you know because reality again reality is simple 
reality is trying to show is what it actually is, and it just takes our common sense to to understand it. Have you ever taken like a like a, a GoPro on a balloon and see how? A lot of people have. I like that. So these are taken uh, from high altitude without a GoPro you lens. You son of a bitch. Yeah. You got so, all these pictures. Yeah. So this was taken from 20 miles in the sky, which in my opinion is the highest human beings have ever gone. Because have you seen the red bull jump from Felix? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. When he parachuted. Yeah, from, yeah, from, yeah. from the edge of space supposedly. Yeah, yeah. First of all, he had a GoPro on his head. So, yeah. so that warped this view to make it look like a globe. Because GoPros have the curvature. Exactly, because of the wide okay. angle. So. Um, Here's the thing, um, he actually, he, in order to reach that altitude, he had to use a giant helium balloon, ironically. Yeah. Because airplanes, again, because we have a, a, wait, a wait, certain amount a of helium, yeah, a helium balloon, because airplanes, they have to fly in, under certain conditions of pressure. They're calibrated to fly under certain conditions of pressure. When you go higher, there's less pressure above, that's obvious. Yeah, yeah, that's their... So an airplane, I don't think, could have reached that altitude. You know, That's why they have to say rockets go that high you know, with NASA, because airplanes cannot reach. Maybe they, they could get close to 20 miles, but, does, I mean, that, does that mean like airplanes could travel faster if there's less wind resistance? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. If they get up to like the higher I'm not altitude? sure, but uh, maybe, but the, the the average commercial flight is five miles. So okay. this is four times higher than that. So when people claim, oh, I seen the curvature from the plane of, from an airplane, right? It's like, I mean, these are from four times that height. And that's it's perfect. five miles. Yeah, that's only five miles. 20. How high did he go? This 20. is 20 miles. 20 miles. So again, uh, but when, but again, he had a GoPro. But when you take a standard camera to that height, and, and these are amateur uh, footages from people that again did what you just told me to do, um, and this is what the horizon actually looks like. And another thing about the horizon, that it rises with you, you know, because if the horizon was the curvature of the Earth like this, when you're looking at the horizon, for example, right here, and you elevate, that horizon should stay below you, right? And it doesn't. The horizon this rises with you in front of you, exactly. Straight. That's because you're only increasing your angle of view. The, the horizon is the limit of perspective. So what you're saying is that, like, very, very, if I were to, like, take this pinpoint yeah. and be, like, right here. And then elevate. And if we were to or zoom distance. in, like, okay. a thousand times, okay. I would find the edge of the Earth? Theoretically, but because there's atmosphere, there's a, a weather, you know, getting in the way, you know. Uh, um, moisture, for example. Like, you, if you're in the deep, if you're in water, you can't see... You know, if you're in a because of the you know the medium that you know water, you have, you're looking through more and more every time. Same thing with the air; it just gets thicker the further you look through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So eventually, well, like if there was none of that, yeah. then you would be able to see like the edge of the earth. Theoretically, yeah. If we could suck the air out completely from the earth, and right. we had an infinite zoom camera, everything gone. And we had an infinite zoom camera because that's key too. Because zoom cameras have limits too. Some are only yeah. 82 times. Some are only 100 times. Right. It has to be like kind of in, infinite zoom. Zoom theoretically, yes, it should for just. mile thirty. Yeah. What was the 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 uh, the, the circumference? Max, the circumference, like so thirty six hundred. So here, I'm gonna tell you, nobody knows what the Earth actually looks like. So again, the the, the controlled opposition are trying to push this map right here. But I don't I don't like to claim it because nobody actually knows what the Earth looks like. But this is what they're trying to push. So this is a, a flat Earth versus the globe, right? But these are both sides. The, the fact is... What's on the other side? That's the thing. We, even if there was an, an underneath to the earth, we're inside the container. We have to exit the container to be able to see under it. You know what I'm saying? But we can't physically do that. So You know what I'm saying? So I, so the surface of the earth is not a it's not a 3D shape. Put it that way. The surface is no, just a level straight. plane. Exactly. How does it look from underneath? I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you this. It's, it's, it's in motion. That's for sure. Wait, then how do you... Um... Then what is the sun to you? Okay, so that's a separate conversation, but uh, if it's if the Earth is flat, yeah, wh where is the sun? So it goes back to this map, which is why they push it. So again, we don't know what the sun actually is and what path it actually takes, okay. but based on our observations from a so level plane, west to east? yeah, west to east. So this would be east to west. That's, that's how we spend west to east. But yeah, the sun's moving from east to west. So it's doing circles like this, allegedly. So in the summer, it's just doing... So the sun's actually way smaller than we're told. You know how they tell us the sun is like 400 it's times summer. bigger? It's 400 times bigger than the, than the, than the earth. It's actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's actually very tiny in comparison to the earth. It's actually like a little spotlight in comparison to the earth. Okay. So the height of the sun is... I would say maybe within 100 miles, so it's very close, and it just rotates above like a spot. You're saying that the, the height of the sun is 100 miles? 
it could be. I'm not, I'm not, again, I don't like to make claims. That I don't know. The fact is, I don't know the exact height. But it's, we can assume that it's a small local sign. Humans can go is 22? About 20, uh, between 20 and 30 miles up. You know, that's the highest recorded, if you ask me, humans have a gone. Felix being one of them, you know, with the helium balloon. You know, but. Okay, and, so then what about like, um, like the whole Hubble scope? Oh yeah, that's all cartoons for adults. That's NASA. It's Disney for adults, basically. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's just pretty, pretty so simple. CGI. It's all CGI. It's all yeah. CGI. Yeah. It's all concepts, you know, when it comes to outer space. Yeah, because so, we really don't know. Nobody exactly. And they, they they take advantage of the fact that none of us can actually go. Not even them. And nobody can actually go. And they take advantage of that to, to make up stories about it. Because again, nobody could prove those stories wrong because nobody could prove what they actually are. That's the only way to prove them wrong, right? But. Again, we could zoom these stars in. I think that debunks the claim that they're trillions and trillions of light years away. The fact that we could zoom in into view, you know, bring them into focus. You know. And they're all the same, you know, they're not what they're claiming they are, you know. Then you believe in aliens? Mm, if, again, I don't believe in anything. It's either I know something or I don't. So when it comes to aliens, I don't know if they exist. Do you believe in, like, a... Like creation? Like a, uh, like a... I try not to use the word aliens, but like... Another intelligent being. Another intelligent being that... I'm open to the idea of other humanoid, again, but they're here on Earth with us. Because they say, like, back in the day, yeah. way, way back in the day, the way that the human mind developed over the course of, like, a, like we have, like, a, this huge timeline of, like, mammals, of, right. like, apes right. being right. on Earth. Right. And then, all of a sudden, in a short period of span, there was like the human brain that was developed okay. you know like we just kind of well i mean you're going by the evolution claim right uh, something like that by I, the I evolution yeah, yeah, I, yeah it's just things i heard real know? quick when it comes to the theories because there's a theory of evolution which is backed by the theory of the big bang right that everything came from nothing right everything. there's they're, they're starting to um to have conversations about the big bang again it's coming up because uh people are starting to say like the big bang doesn't make sense <laughs> doesn't, didn't really happen right. it was something like so space me, and everything yeah. was already there okay the and the reason why they're saying that i'm gonna tell you why because the first law of thermodynamics is energy cannot be created nor destroyed it can only transform from one form to another that's oh. that's a scientific fact so that fact alone debunks the idea that we came from nothing from, a, from nothing exactly from a right, big bang from a big bang so the first law of thermodynamics if in my opinion proves that this case was created so it proves a create a creator but all religions again they take advantage of the fact that nobody knows what this creator is a religion is man-made exactly the heliocentric model is a religion because it's That's based on faith religion. yeah because but the, kind of yeah like, here's a, what's the three main things all religions have in common except you know creator. That's a good one. Because, like, that's universal. Like, yeah. everyone believes in God. Yeah. How do you not know that everyone's talking about the same thing? Yeah. So the three things, the first one, in my opinion, will be a creation story. Okay. A way of life right. and a God, which is the third one. And government gives us all those. That's why I say government is like a religion. It's like a church because they give us a creation trust. story through Darwinism, evolution, right? They give us a way of life through taxes and, and they will take care of you, right? The government. And they give us a God, which is called money. That's the God for all the for all the atheists, for example, because what do people do when they have problems in life or they, they literally they just worship God to think that that's going to be the solution to all their problems. Just like people worship money like it's going to be the solution to all their problems. But I don't know if you knew our economy right now is just faith faith based. It doesn't even have true value. In other words, it's not backed by gold anymore either. No, it, hasn't it hasn't been, been since like the 70s. Yeah. yeah. So our economy is literally faith based. So it's literally just, it only has value because we believe in it. Like, kind of like crypto. Like in a way, yeah. It has only value yeah. because we believe in crypto. Exactly. But again, just like a, a, a certain God that people believe in, it only has value to you because you believe in it. So again, God being that thing you believe in, it's your God for, for, for the heliocentric model. Because again, money is a solution for everything. Oh, there was an earthquake here. They send money over there. You know. Oh, there was a, a disaster here in another country. Oh, let's 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 fundraise and send money. Again, money being the solution to everything. You know, it's to me it's ludicrous. Back then, was it was religion effort. was the solution to everything. 
you know, exactly. Way back then, and religion was these set of rules. Exactly. Is the way. Yeah, man, you're pretty knowledgeable, man. Well, not a lot of people are, <laughs> or no, at least no, no. open. I'm, I'm just like open. No, yeah, you are, you are. Yeah, believe yeah. it or not, but um, I would I'm say trying to yeah. connect, like, yeah, everything. And, you know, it all it all evolves around the same yeah. like thing. And so I, I can have an open mind. Yeah. And, like just connect. Connect the dots. Exactly. Thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. So. I think what happened with religion, because they were the dominant uh, controller of, of people, right? Right, religion. right. I think what happened is that more people... We had wars. Yeah, Like, exactly. religion had more power than money yeah. back then. Yeah, like, I mean, money is just a tool that they use to control. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's about control. And money is just a tool. The faith. Okay. The, yeah, the, the faith. will of the people. Exactly, that's how you control people's will. Exactly, making them believe in money, and then you can control their actions like that, right? But uh, the reason why I think government took over the religion aspect is because more and more people were becoming more scientific minded. You know, they were not believing religion so much, in my opinion, so people were becoming more critical when thinking. I don't know when it happened, maybe in the early 1900s and during the Industrial Revolution. I don't know, to be honest, but this is just a theory that people were becoming more scientific minded, so they brought in, you know, space agencies and NASA and, and all these, because it's just a religion again. It's just, like, if you, if you think about way back in the day, like, we used to navigate yeah. through using the stars. Exactly, which is only possible from a level plane. Want to know but why? if the stars were just bullshit, then like how... No, the reason why we can navigate using the stars is because, again, the stars are constant. They don't change their position in the sky. So we could use them to triangulate. So again, it's only possible from a level plane that's not spinning you know, in space. So do you think that like, the U.S. government mm -hmm. in today's present time realize that and now use it's a very small group you know what I mean because because you said like um, like this like the stars and space is all kind of bullshit it's always been there yeah. but like way back in the day we used to navigate our ships with stars we should navigate our way with the stars before we had electricity right. we had you know the, the dark sky filled with stars yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always been there. It's always been there. Yeah. It's always been there. Yeah, it's always there. Always constant. Again, that's where the word constellation but comes also, from. But also, people, there's a theory that's, that says that like if you look at a star right now and today, you look at a star, it's already gone. It's only the <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the length of time of it taking it to get to reach your eye, right? The light, yeah, yeah. right. It's already gone. It's, yeah. it's already been destroyed. Allegedly, you know, that's what they're, that's what we're told. Right, right. That's it's what a we're crazy told. thing. You know, again, about. when it comes to the sky, but everything you think, you've, everything that you've seen is already gone. It's just the, the light that's been transmitted through the light years. Yes, yeah, I've heard the story. Yeah. yeah, they say that if the if the sun was to go out right now, we won't know until five minutes after. Well, that's been a, a scary thing about. That's what they what say. What I used to think in yeah. uh, in uh, high school was right. that when we were taught about the sun. The sun is a star, and eventually one day, not when we're alive, but one day, it's gonna, it's gonna turn into a black hole. Right. Okay. It's gonna go through its own life. I process. remember the story, yeah. And then what that means is that our our own galaxy will no longer be there because everything will get sucked through into a black the hole. Yeah. After right. the explosion. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, would say. Like, like, yeah. We're, we're we're doomed. Based right. on science. Yeah. So black holes again. I would, black holes are just an idea you know there's nothing here in physics to reference what a black hole is right okay. you know so again these are just again just star wars we're talking star wars now you know made up physics you know right. you know we're talking cartoon physics now but again anything anyone trying to tell you what the sky is because religion tries to do that too you know i'm pretty sure uh buddhists or you know christians and you know any religion i'm pretty sure they have their own story about what the sky is do you like facts on that uh, the fact is... What did the Buddhists say? No, I actually don't know what the Buddhists say. Don't quote me on that. But okay, okay. Christians claim that heaven up there, right? For example. The Christians. But the fact is, nobody knows what's up there because nobody's actually been up there. So anybody making claims about the sky, which NASA does all day, every day, is just made up. You know? I mean, we believe in NASA because we believe that they have... They have the money and technology. Exactly. Telescopes. That's how they Looking separate the average person from like their their experiments that they do that you know oh you don't have our telescope so you can't see the you can't see jupiter like this <laughs> so again it's just tactics you and know here's the information that they're treating people it. like children basically you know what i'm saying like when you try to hide something from your from a kid you don't tell them everything you try to divert you know try to show them something else that could distract them from the main question you know 
<laughs> which so, is water level. I think this is the number one proof to debunk. If we if we were to like exclude NASA and government, yeah. um, you know, organizations. Yes. Do you think? Did you see that um, that the Red Bull video where the guy you know falls from the edge of space? Yeah, that's the Red Bull jump. Yeah, yeah. So, in that video, did you see a curvature in the? Yeah. I, uh, he had a GoPro. On Which, it. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you said so, that. But there was a camera inside his capsule that they didn't, it wasn't a GoPro, and you could see the horizon right in front. The horizon shouldn't even be visible because it should be below. But the, the camera that's inside the capsule he was in, you could see the horizon right in front when he opens the door. With the curve. Yeah, with no curve. That one's a standard camera. The one on his the head. GoPro had that, the curve. Yeah, that, the GoPro one had. But it's, that's one. I yeah, to, I to like re, yeah re, we watched that, re, but re -watch but again, even if the curvature was there, again, we should be able to physically measure it. But you know, it's not there. You know, lakes don't curve. So, what do you know about like Antarctica? For Antarctica, I don't make claims about Antarctica. I do again, flat earthers. You know, I would, they claim that there's an ice wall. I don't deny it nor confirm it so because I don't I, know. I, I was hoping you would say like yeah. the ice wall. <laughs> you know, yeah, or it's like, yeah. But uh, again, this ice wall is probably not even there. It's probably more land, for all we know. And what they do, what are they recording? I don't What's know. Beyond the land. That's another thing is if we are being contained right by by land, the water, which I think that's the only way to contain water, you know. Right. What's above that? Again, either we're gonna reach another pond, like Earth's, or we're gonna reach the container, the wall of the container. We're gonna have to reach one or the other. You know, but I don't know if you knew, there's an Antarctic treaty that prevents any civilians from exploring. Yeah, so it's yeah, illegal yeah. to explore. You can't even yeah. fly over So they say you, you were a millionaire, even a billionaire. You can't. Well, well, actually, to be a billionaire, I think you have to be part of their little club. I don't think anybody real becomes a billionaire. You could, be, you could become a millionaire, you know, as an entrepreneur. But to become a billionaire, I think you have to be, like, part of their, their puppets, you know what I'm saying? But even if you were a millionaire, and let's say you could buy a boat or a plane and try to explore, You'll go to jail. <laughs> no, yeah, they you won't can't, allow you. you. You can't fly over it. You can't get close to it. I wonder why. You know, that's why I'm out here. I'm trying to find out. You know, but if people still believe that we live in a cartoon, then we're never gonna explore this place. You know what I'm saying? I hope. I hope that you yeah. <laughs> get the funds to, you know, be able to honestly see what. I wouldn't do it myself, but I'll do it with a group because I know by myself it kind of be suicide. No, no, no. I need like, experience. Yeah, yeah, with group, People with experience live, sailing or, you know. The funds, you know, like just to do it like, you know, without a, um, without like a big brother. Yeah, you know, without there you go. someone funding yeah. you that is in control. It's just a bunch of independent people doing it. Just independent. Yeah. And then like, you know, yeah. get to like, that's go the goal. To the center that's the goal to explore. Like, you know what's even more restricted than the south? What? The north. The north. The north. Why? So there's stories again this is just history that there's four continents by the like, uh, close to the center of the earth and they say there's stories again that that's like the garden of Eve that uh, that's where you know everything grows you know like not, you know you got what about everything. the claim in Africa like you know everyone every human being comes from, Come from <laughs> I, I won't I won't buy into that nobody knows the Wait, origin so of so then do you believe in um, Pangea no you don't no, believe in no, Pangea no, no, no. like the no. No? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the continents shift like that, like we're told, you know what I'm saying? Over millions of no. years. <laughs> no. I don't even know how old the Earth is to begin with. You know what I'm saying? They, they, the, What's the, the claim? Uh, religion claims 10,000 years old. That's not true, though. That but cannot be the true. The heliocentric model. That cannot be true. Because we're finding, like, societies right. longer than 10,000 yeah, yeah. years ago. Yeah. So, like, that can't... No. The fact, I, I don't claim to Who know or that? not know. Uh, uh, Christians, the Bible, I think, I think they dated like, I think they date the Earth ten thousand. I think. Uh, I could no, be wrong. No, no, that's I could completely be wrong. wrong. Because you, you, how many, how many millions of years ago was the Ice Age? I w in my opinion, claiming that the claim, claiming that the Earth is billions of years old is just as ridiculous as claiming that it's ten thousand years old. If you ask me. You know what? Want to know why? Because nobody actually knows. So anybody claiming is any number is okay, just a ridiculous. carbon date? Like, you That's, know, what's the carbon date on the Earth? So carbon dating is, is very, uh, very circular reasoning behind it. So the way they, you know how they carbon date? How they determine the dates of, of, of no. rocks? So it's kind of circular reasoning. The way they do it is if they find a fossil, they determine the, 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 the age of the fossil by the rocks that are around it. But then how right, do you right, but right. how do you determine the rocks that are around it? They never get to that point. 
<laughs> it's just an explanation that sounds good basically so there's no real way to actually date anything unless especially i mean obviously we could date like bones because we can you know when when you you know when you slaughter an animal yeah you, you, when you bury a person for example you can see how the bones decay right so eventually they become almost nothing so to claim that there's bones existing you know fossils from millions of years ago when we know that they basically disintegrate in a couple hundred years wait what about dinosaurs bones? that's what i'm saying like those are all just stories you know those are, so those are more than 10, so dinosaur bones if you look into dinosaurs again this is a separate subject but if you look into dinosaurs they don't have authentic bones in museums. They claim that they are all stored somewhere in a vault. What? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait what? Yeah, yeah what you, you mean, can look like this up. They're not real? They're not real. They're not real. They're replicas. All the bones in museums are replicas. The fuck? Yeah. What so do you mean? if you become an anthropologist, or I don't know what the fuck they're called, yeah. that studies bones, yeah. and you want to study the real bones, you're not allowed. So you have to be kind of like part of the little club. What about like in Jurassic Park when they're like they're uncovering <laughs> like a, the actual bone in the dirt? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of these old pictures, I would say they're fabricated. So they, you know what I'm saying? Especially All right, old, now, yeah. I think you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. But no, again, no. again, that's a separate subject. Let's okay, stick okay. to the let's stick no, to the let's, let's stick it's to the shape of the earth. Okay, okay. Let's stick to let's go okay. back to the shape of the earth. What's the number one proof that makes you believe the earth is a ball? Because again, all of those stories, again, I don't like to go into them because then it just becomes irrelevant. But no, physics, no, it's very relevant. It's not history is irrelevant. About, we're talking about what how, we're being told versus. What's no, no. True. When it comes to establishing what is, how does history tell us that? Like when we're talking about physics or the natural world, for example. What does history tell us about the natural world? what we've been taught in school no, by but, the government. Okay. When it, okay, so natural natural science, right, is the observation and the study of the natural world, observing phenomenon and how it behaves. What does history have to do with natural science? It's nothing to do with natural science. That's my point. So that's history why it's a is just Even schools, supposed to be what's been recorded yeah. in the past. Yeah, which is a separate... In other words, you have to just take it by faith. Right. If you if you don't want to go by faith, you go with physics nat and natural science, and that's where flat Earth or the level Earth comes in because it's backed by physical physics. Basically. How is it backed by physics? Because the, the surface of water, again, when you go to a lake, it never never bends it's towards level. exactly. So the oceans. Have you ever heard the term sea level? Oh shit. Yeah, the oceans are level. It's always level. <laughs> yeah, the oceans are not bending around a ball. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So the oceans are not bending around a ball, so we don't live on a ball. You know, water is the number one proof. Uh, have you heard of Euclidean plane geometry? So you're saying that, like, if I were to, like, you know, like the whole, like, way back in the day, if you were on the beach and you dug a hole that goes straight to the core to the other <laughs> side, you end up in China. Like, like, that's that that, like that's the a theory. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know how we know what the deepest uh, human beings have ever uh, dug into the earth? We've never even gone close to the core. You want you want to know how deep we've gone? Eight miles. That's, no, that's the deepest we've ever gone. Eight miles. So what happened is at eight miles, it, it, the Earth is so dense that any machine that we try to use would just break. Basically, the drills will stop working. You know, because I don't know if it was the heat and obviously the the compression of the Earth is just so thick that we could only drill eight eight miles down. And anything below that is just theories. You know. So. So yeah, again, I don't, I, when it comes to, again, the shape of the earth, physics is proof. You make me want to, like, take a plane around the earth, <laughs> you know, like, to, just to figure it out, to see. You don't need to do that. You just, again, physics, understanding basic physics, elementary physics. Water, again, water, the oceans. If, if people are claiming the oceans are bending eight miles, I mean, eight inches per mile square. It's always flat. The water doesn't... Exactly. Doesn't... People claim, oh, but the horizon, you know, I can't see past the horizon. That's the curvature of the earth. And it's like, if that was the curvature of the earth, again, when we elevate... The horizon should stay below. You know, you should look down at the horizon. You never look down so at the you're horizon. Saying that we if just think we're on the edge of the dock and I saw a ship just take, you know, go straight. Rather than seeing the ship like lower down, okay. it just disappears. Well, it disappears from the bottom up because of our limit of perspective again. So no, then, no, no. I'm saying is that if if it were to disappear from the bottom up, that means that there is a curve. But if it disappears just be, because of my sight, I can't see that far. Then, then that's a different thing. Right, no, no, no. Uh, believe it or not, but you're saying that if it disappears from the bottom up, it's only because of a curve. Of a curve. A lot of people have done experiments. I've actually done it myself too. 
where if you're on a level surface, for example, like a soccer field, right? And you have like a remote control car or something, you know, that, that, that you can reference the height of it. And you, you push the camera level to the floor. You know that floor is level, right? Because you're like on a soccer field. You, you know, I'm onto I feel a, like that's too short though. But here's the thing. You drive that car away, it starts to disappear from the bottom up. In other words, the wheels disappear first and you can only see the top of the car. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all due to perspective. Again, because everything shrinks the further it gets. So if I have this in front of you and I move away from you, it, oh, you're right, it you're appears right. to yeah, get smaller yeah. until right. it disappears. How do you think about that? Yeah, so it's all, again, the horizon is the limit of perspective, which is the limit of our vision. So they're playing on the limit of perspective and saying, oh, that's the curve of the earth. That's why you can't see further. But the fact is we can't see further because we're not Superman. Right. <laughs> and we have right. a limit to how far we, we can we see. We have our, our Android phones. But if you bring in a zoom camera, that boat that disappeared over the curve comes back into view when you zoom into it. That's another experiment people have done. Okay. When you zoom into the boat, it comes back into view. So again, it's just perspective. It's just distance, not curvature. You know? huh. So here, I have some information that you could take home if you want to check out again, because it is being censored. Um, and that's my Who's channel. censoring that? Uh, the government. I mean, whoever controls the government at the end of the day. The government is just an institution that's being controlled by another entity, which will be the shadow government, right? But nobody knows who those people are. I don't know who they are. The president, governors, all of these are just puppets. You know, the, the true people, oh, follow the money trail. So the people that control yeah, the Fed yeah. the Fed Reserve, those are the people in charge. The people that created There's like four companies. But who controls those companies? You know, it's even a smaller oh, group. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Who controls those companies? Exactly. It comes back to a very small group, if you ask me. That's the only way to actually control a big amount of people. Because if you get a lot of people with their hands in the pot, it's just going to go crazy. You know, a lot of people are greedy. You know, they're going to, oh, I'm going to expose you now because you're not letting me get more money, you know? Like, so, again, it has to be a very small group that controls. And then the <laughs> government are just puppets, everybody that works for the government. Have you heard that, uh, like, this high school student, she, uh, she did research and came to a conclusion that all, the majority of the United States presidents are all related, related to <laughs> King George or something like that? Yeah, I've heard of that. That they're all, they're all part of the same bloodline, basically. Same bloodline, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a brotherhood, yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Why do you think there's so many, like, frats and all this, uh, like, in college, right? Like, these sorority yeah. groups and stuff. They're yeah. grooming you to so who's going to fill in these positions in government already. Yeah. So, yeah. They're, they're already being groomed because there's, just like there's groups in college like that, there's groups in society like that. I don't know if you heard of Masons. Yeah. Masons. I mean, those are very commonly known. A lot of people know about Masons. Like old people, right? Yeah, so Masons think that they're actually helping society, but they're actually the puppets that are doing kind of like the dirty work in a way. Okay. You know? Yeah, but, I see that. Yeah, there's a I lot of groups, that. you know. Groups. Groups. Yeah. The CIA. Uh, <laughs> Another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Uh, back in like the 70s with uh, Charles Manson. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they conducted like LSD experiments. Okay. okay. While he was in prison, Charles Manson. Oh, okay. They, con you know, like they would talk to him and. Do like these experiments. Right. Like, once he gets out, and then what happens if, like, you know, yeah, yeah. they trained them basically okay. into like having, you know, his. They basically groomed them. What, they groomed them. What yeah. it is? Yeah, yeah, the CIA. Yeah. No, yeah, the CIA. They, they came out in public in the. I don't that know exactly. Was the ultra, ultra. What's it called? Ultra something. MK. MK Ultra, ultra Mind, mind Control. control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MK Ultra Mind Control. Yeah, and they had actual <laughs> mind control like organizations, like people that would recruit right. to like see if like there's any way that you could mind control. I think mind control has been overhyped. If you ask me, mind control is simply just if you're under mind control, it's you believe something that's not true. Well, if you believe in religion, exactly, kind of or if you believe in the ball earth, under it's faith. Yeah, exactly. And that's what they say is like faith is like you can't see it, you can't touch it, but you just believe it. That's the thing though. You can't force. You can't force brainwashing. It has to be very subtle. It has to. They have brainwashing works in a way where you have to come up with the answer. So I'm gonna put a bunch of little clues to try to guide your thinking, kind of like the movie Inception. How they, go, how they go in the people's mind to try to convince them to make a certain choice. Right. That's how brainwashing works and they do it through TV. So it's very sub, it's very subtle. Subconscious. Yeah, so again, it's making you believe in something that's not true or making you doubt your common sense. Oh. Then you've been brainwashed. Or, I feel yeah. like this has been a very Grand Theft Auto mm -hmm. random conversation. conversation. That's you what, what I'm what I mean? looking just for. Cruising around. That's literally what I'm GTA, literally working for. Yeah. Like, talking to a guy <laughs> that wants to offer you marijuana or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, except that the that the in GTA that the person is actually thinking outside the box. 
yeah, uh, outside yeah. his programming. Yeah. <laughs> Other people will think you're a little crazy. Right. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So those are the six main proofs that debunk the globe. Again, all have to do with Dude, physics. I've been doing activism like this for about a year, over a year. Okay. Um, and again, I, I came across this six years ago, so I, you know, it's just a lot of information that. So what's your goal? My goal is to get a bunch of people aware of the fact that we've been lied to, and I want people to trust their common sense and be independent, independent thinkers. Because okay. if you have independent thinkers, you, this place is going to be a much better place. The so reason why. How do you feel like that would be a much better place? Because we're, we're not because everybody's just doing what they're told, pay this much taxes, pay. Some, I think that's what's enslaving us. It's our own ignorance that's enslaving us. Because we just we just accept it, you know what I'm saying? But if we actually understood what's really going on, that the economy is just made up and all these taxes are just made up and nobody has the right to own land that they don't actually use, then, again, equality would just happen naturally. I like but the I, fact that you say about taxes because we have a huge industrial military complex that's all about... I mean, the U.S., when you're born and you become a citizen, you inherit the national debt, which is over $30 trillion right now. Right. 20 trillion right. so increasing. off the back we're already in debt and guess what we don't even pay the interest off that debt so guess what we're never going to pay off that debt because we're not even paying off the interest because, because we're just printing money exactly it's all just again the economy is going to collapse and I feel like the governments are creating some kind of plan right now with the UN and I feel like they're going to come out with some kind of universal basic income uh, I don't know if you've heard of that UBI 100%. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I so that's the goal. The one world government they're trying to do. Even though it already exists, the one world government is already a thing with the UN. The fact that we could convert my dollar to pesos, to yang, to that tells you that the economy is one already. It just has different faces. You yeah. know? But people think that, oh, we have different economies. Like, no, we don't. It's all one economy. The fact that you could transfer your money to other currencies tells you that it's all one currency with just a different face. True. But the yeah, goal, true. but the goal is they want one currency, so everybody uses the same dollar bill or the same. But it's gonna be digital, though. You know that's what they're trying to do. Digital. The, 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 the world follows the US dollar. Yeah. So basically, they want the whole world to be kind of like China. I don't know if you know how surveillance they are. Like Russia, they can't even. And China yeah. And other people are trying to. Like we killed Gaddafi because Gaddafi didn't <laughs> wanted didn't want to accept the U.S. dollar for oil. They wanted to use gold. Okay. And so yeah. the U.S. government assassinated yeah. Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah, that's another, um, that's another story. Yeah, yeah I heard um, about that. That's, that makes sense. But like, it's it's happening. Yeah. Where like the U.S. dollar will no longer be like the, the leading dollar, like currency of the world. Okay. And that's and that's a huge thing with like us right now. And we're talking about China and Russia. Mm -hmm. So, Again, it's just people don't understand that. Again, it's all one economy already. So this fear mongering, oh, everything's gonna become the dollar. It already, everything is already one, right? So it's just like it's like people that say, oh, the one world government is coming, or new world order is coming, right? right, well, that, right. It's already right. here. But if they keep you thinking that it's coming, you're never gonna accept that if we're already living it. You know, we're living the new world order. Kind of like aliens. Yeah. The, in a way. During COVID, the U.S. government released like documentation, classified stuff about aliens. Right. And then, like, a couple years later, now we're having, like, Congress talking. Supposedly. To, uh, I would say that, I would say all those stories are to back up this image. Because, again, it doesn't exist in physics. So all these stories about outer space and aliens is to just to, re again, sub, sub, subtle brainwashing. Doing it. So if it um, isn't what you think, like, let's say it is all CGI. Yeah. Where we live. Yeah. Then... That's, here's the Where thing. are we? Yeah, here's the thing. A lot of people want certainty, and I think that the, the government takes advantage of that, so they give them certainty. I don't. I don't care what Earth is or what it isn't, and I don't. I don't. And, and I'm not afraid to admit that I don't know what this place actually is, and that's where I'm at right now. I don't know what it actually is as a whole. All I can tell you is that the surface of the Earth is level, and we're being contained somehow because we have air pressure, and the Earth, what cross, what creates gravity, it's the Earth being in motion. We're it's pressing. Air pressure. Air pressure is just uh, again the, the Earth being in motion exactly. So you know you know how we have a pressure gradient. The higher you elevate in the mountain, there's less pressure. It's because there's a compression of air down here, and, and there's less less compression up there because again the Earth has is in motion. So when the Earth is in motion, the air just starts to compress itself. So it creates like a band from but thick you know, to less. What you're saying thick. is like that basically means that everything the galaxy been, is bullshit. Yeah, Milky like, Way. Space is bullshit. Yeah. That's, what I'm, that's exactly what I'm saying. The whole heliocentric model is a lie. What's not a lie is physics. What's here on Earth. God damn. So for all we know, 
this is all there is to it. You know, but if you ask me, but then wait, hold on. Yeah. So then, then if you're saying that, that means that there is absolutely no chance of the possibility of having different universes, galaxies. Okay, like that galaxies, yeah. Um, galaxies don't exist. <laughs> galaxies the don't exist. Infinite number of galaxies within space. Yeah, that's all a concept. Exist. It doesn't exist. Nothing. Exists. Not like not like that. Right, right, right. Some, that's, what we're, what, that's what we're thinking. Some people claim, and I think these are um, bullshit claims, but some people claim the Earth could be infinite. So this yeah, idea yeah. of infinite space, it could just be here, but I don't think the Earth is but infinite. I don't think people know, understand like what's the concept, concept of infinite. Yeah, we, can, we can't conceptualize infinity. it. Yeah, we can't. It's impossible for us as finite creatures. We can't conceptualize infinity. But what you're saying is that there's no such thing as infinity. There's no, there's no, no space. There, no, we are part of something infinite, which is... Yeah. God, I don't know what that God is. Again, people have their own version of that. Yeah. But I accept that we're part of something infinite, which will be God. You know, we're okay. part of something eternal. So it's beyond this physical world. There's something else, but it's not man-made. Exactly, exactly. All these man-made ideas are there to stump us, to keep us from this realization that oh shit. There could have been some, some, some decent reasoning why you we're, know why man-made idea of like how to put it together but then there's also man-made ideas of how that person could use that idea to benefit deceive. themselves yes to deceive and to benefit themselves exactly because yeah. a lot of people will ask well why would they like the shape of the earth well why do con artists con yeah. it's to get a, to take advantage so they have an easier life that's yeah. literally what it comes down to if you want to control people why so that they could do things for you so that you have an easier life so when people ask well oh, uh, what's the motive that's just a cop out Again, people don't want to look at the facts. So they were just, oh, if you can give me a good reason to why they would lie about the shape of the earth, then I'm not even going to look into it. And it's like, first of all, the motive is different, you know, than the, than the actual facts. You know, again, I don't, I'm not the one lying, so I don't know the exact reason, but I can go to physics and show that they are lying. Like, again, if I show you the picture of my upside down bottle, now that you understand water can't stick to the top, if somebody showed you a bottle with water sticking to the top and they told you, oh, I took this picture right side up, you're like, no, you took it upside down. Right. Because right. physics doesn't Perception. lie, you lie. You're just trying to work my perception. You know what I'm saying? But again, it, it goes back to physics because people lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, do you have any other questions I mean, before? No, man. It's been a, it's been a cool interaction. Cool conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, I, I like this uh, dialogue. I like to um, to like even have the um, like the tiniest grasp of any other ideas or, or ideas yeah, yeah. or opportunities. You know, no, yeah, the, so, yeah. Like I'm legit. I'll check you out. Yeah, I'll definitely, man. Level headed. William. Yeah, William? that's me. That's my William. wife right there. But yeah, that's the channel name. Yeah. So, William. My name's William. Yeah. Good to meet you, William. Yeah, man. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for the chat, yeah. man. You have a good one. You too, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.